today we're gonna see how well you know popular 80s comedy movies. Okay, well I'm gonna fail this one. Oh God. I'm just gonna say now I know nothing. The 80s are a long time ago. That was way before I was born. I might surprise myself, but I'm probably gonna get everything wrong. I don't know if I know any popular 80s comedy movies. Maybe I do. I just don't know if they were made in the 80s. Do you know this movie? What the heck is that? No idea. It's really weird. It's just a guy holding up a freaking tennis racket. There's a dog growling at a snake. Yeah, I have no clue what this is. It says every summer Chevy Chase takes his family on a little trip. This year he went too far. It's called Road Trip because every single decade there's a movie called Road Trip about a family that goes on a road trip and wacky adventures happen. There's no way I'm getting this movie. Like, this doesn't look remotely even... Oh wait, this is the that one, the, the family vacation one, is it? Is it the, like, Lampoon something vacation? This is, a. Uh... Which vacation is it? National Lampoon Summer Vacation? This is... Vacation. I kind of feel like I've heard of that. The movie's great. It's funny. It's like classic, you know, uh, slapstick comedy. I have never seen this, and I know if my friends see this, they're gonna be like, what, you haven't seen National Lamp I mean, Lampoons? And f it's from the 80s. Do you know this comedy from 1987? Shoot, why does it ring so many bells, but... Okay, I know it's obviously it's some kind of Star Wars parody. That little guy on the right looks like Yoda. But I don't think Mel Brooks was in Star Wars, and I don't think there's a flying van in Star Wars either. Oh my gosh, I feel like I know this title. That is, um, 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 sp Spaceballs? Spaceballs! I know that one! <laughs> Spaceballs. Spaceballs. I have this on DVD somewhere in my house. Okay, I know Spaceballs. For some reason, they showed me this at camp when I was like 10. It was fantastic, stupid comedy. Here it is. Spaceballs. Okay, wait, yeah, okay, I've heard of this one. Spaceballs! I've heard of it! Merchandise. <laughs> There's that one guy who's always like, Merchandise. <laughs> Mel Brooks is hilarious. Bill Pullman is just funny. I love him. He's one of my favorite actors. Who doesn't like Star Wars? Who doesn't like comedy? Put them together. Boom. Genius movie. Let's see if you recognize this 80s classic. Oh man, no idea. It's familiar because I'm pretty sure this movie is on Netflix and I've scrolled over it a few times. I feel so bad because I grew up watching Eddie Murphy and I don't know the name of the freaking movie. I watch a lot of Eddie Murphy movies. They just all kind of run together after a while. I don't know, I'm gonna guess the title, King of New York. I know Eddie Murphy, but I can't think of a single thing that he's done right now. No, don't look at me like that, I know Eddie Murphy. Oh my gosh, I totally know this, and it's really, really gonna piss me off because I literally like just watched this movie. I've seen this, I know I have, but I forgot the title, but I know he like, he's from Africa or somewhere, and then he he's like the king or something, and he's really weird, and then he moves to the big city, and then he like has to fit in or something. Coming to America, I haven't seen it, my, fr my, <laughs> my friends at school hate me for not seeing it, but I want to. This is the poster for... Coming to America, never heard of it. Coming to America, see I would never guess that, but I know the whole thing. How can I not guess that? I mean, it's literally so self-explanatory. Do you know this movie? Uh, it's... Golf? Oh my god, why is there a beaver on the roof? It looks like we got some like businessmen and then we got like some fishermen in the back. Some people just don't belong. I know that's true, but I don't know what movie this is. Golfing? So, and there's a groundhog. Unless it's Happy Gilmore, is it? Is that Bill Murray? So, and there's a ground groundhog's day. I know the name. It's about golf and gophers. I have this movie too. Wait, is it? No. Is this Caddyshack? Is it Caddyshack? Caddyshack. I've seen this one a lot of times. The poop. The poop. <laughs> This is a poster for... Caddyshack! Ah! There was a squirrel in the background, I thought it was a groundhog. Caddyshack? Like, what's a Caddyshack? I love this movie. It's really funny. Bo Murray's in this, huh? Chevy Chase. I've heard of Chevy Chase. Um, but I only know who Bill Murray is. I've just heard Chevy Chase for I'm like, Chevy Chase. Uh, and that's about... Wasn't he in Vacation? I just read that. Oh my god. Here's your next one. Do you know it? Mm. 
No, I don't know this one. Oh my god, I don't I don't know any of these so far. For a second, I thought this was supposed to be a motivational poster. Because there's police officers everywhere, and then there's words. There's like a dog in the front. I think it's holding like a beer. I'm not really sure. She's, and then some chicks showing off her legs. I'm gonna just guess here, police academy. Is this like police academy? Because there's police officers. That's the police academy. I've seen this movie oh, so many times. This one is police academy. I've never heard of that. Police academy, okay. Heard the title, don't know anything about it. Oh, it's so amazing, she's got everything, it's funny. This film was a box office success despite its mixed reviews. Acclaimed film critic Roger Ebert gave it zero out of four stars, but it still managed to spawn six sequels. Damn! Six sequels? How? That's like the Human Centipede movies. How do those keep getting sequels? I don't think you can go off what critics say. I don't understand that like, oh, but the critics say that. Because everyone's gonna have a different opinion of what's funny and what's not. I think this is movie is hilarious or else I would not have watched it a thousand times. Anything about this poster look familiar? Not in the slightest, and this one looks way older than the 80s. I have a man tied up. I think they got him got him whipped pretty good. The power behind the throne. These actors just aren't clicking. I was gonna say Charlie's Angels, but then I realized that that's not what Charlie's Angels is about. It's just the same number of women. Dolly Parton. I know her. Dolly Parton's in it, and I love her, because Hannah Montana. Um, but I don't know anybody else. This is definitely um, 9 to 5, and I love this movie so much. Working. Nine to five, what a way to make a living. This is the poster for... Nine to five. Nope, never heard of this one. Never heard of that one either. Man, I don't know any of these. I've heard the song Nine to Five. Is that, is that in the movie? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's probably where I've heard of the title. Starring Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin, and Dolly Parton, this movie about three secretaries that take down their sexist boss was the second highest grossing film in the U.S. in 1980, second only to Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Damn, that was pretty good. Wow. Okay, that's strange, though, because you always hear about Star Wars, but you don't hear about this. I like it. It has a strong, you know, powerful message to it for that time, especially. I would totally do that if my boss was sexist, just saying. Feminism. Everyone who hasn't seen this movie, it, uh, you just have to watch it because it's so well done, it's so funny. Last but not least, do you know this one? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. That's Ghostbusters! 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 Yeah, Ghostbusters! Everyone knows Ghostbusters. Damn, yeah, Ghostbusters. Everyone knows it, man. Ghostbusters? How do you not know Ghostbusters? Ghostbusters. I mean, I just, you can't not know Ghostbusters. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! I've never actually seen it, but obviously the logo gives everything away. I know the songs. I know what they look like. I know what their car looks like. Never seen it though. <laughs> it's not like Spaceballs where it's entirely a satire. It's a serious movie with like big plots and stuff happening, but they have so much comedy thrown in there. This year, a Ghostbusters reboot is being made with women in the lead roles, including Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy. Hell yeah. They even made a point of flipping gender roles so that the receptionist is played by Chris Helmsworth. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. I saw the trailer for that, and every single person in the comments hated it, and I don't know why. I don't think people are hating on this because they're all girls. If you're gonna reboot a franchise, just do it, do it right. I don't like when they make remakes. Like when they remade the random Point Break, how well did that do? There's certain things you can't redo, you just gotta leave it as is. I've seen the trailer and I'm a little worried because like, again, a classic is being remade and I don't, I don't really like that. But a lot of the names like Melissa McCarthy and Kristen Wiig, they are really funny women. We'll see, but nothing's gonna ever compare to the original Ghostbusters. Thanks for watching this episode of Do They Know It on the React channel. Who are you gonna subscribe to? React channel! Let us know in the comments what you think we should test our knowledge on. That's a wrap! Bye guys!